Hey guys, I'm Adobe from Adobe Gamer, and I'm going to be showing you some tips on what your graphics should be in competitive gaming. Let's go! Alright, so first of all, sorry if uh, the text looks, looks disoriented on your screen in YouTube. It also looks disoriented in mine, and I couldn't fix that with the game cam. You want your uh, screen size to be, I think that's 1250 by 960. Even if I'm wrong by one digit, you get the idea of what it should be. Uh, sync every frame 60 hertz. S yeah, that's 60 hertz uh, for frames per second. Uh, issues, if you have it at 72, 60. Um, Aspect ratio, it depends mostly on your monitor. Uh, you can set that aspect ratio to be specific to give you a wider berth of, of peripheral vision. Or it can be in height of a wider or a lengthier berth. Uh, I think the next one is anti, I can hardly read it, anti analyzing. Uh, you want to set that by four times because what that does is it softens the edges of the guns and the buildings so that when you it makes it so there aren't any chopped rigged edges of anything uh... brightness i set to in the middle so it, nobody can hide in the shadows sync every frame no dual video cards or yes it uh, gives you higher frames per second uh... what is that Shadows. Yes, because you have a chance to get to jump on people when they're coming around the corner and all you see is their shadow. And they don't know what's going to hit them and they're going to think you're hacking because you pre-fired them before they even came around. Uh, specular map. No, because basically what that does is that the only thing that it does is it gives, uh, is it gives items. Um, perhaps, I don't know if there's any mirrors in the games. But it gives them reflections. The, the SAS goggles, your golden silver deagle, uh, your sniper scope, all those reflections are turned off and it gives you better frames per second. I think that's death of field. Uh, death of field, you don't want any of that because what that is is that when you scope in on your deagle or any weapon for that matter, uh, the things around it is blurred out and you don't want that to be and your peripheral vision to be blurred because you want to see if there's anybody coming up on you. Glow? No, because it just glows the map. Uh, number of dynamic lights? Off. Uh, soft and smoke edges? No. And here's why. is Not only does it ob obviously give you better frame rate, uh, but it, what it also does is that it makes it so that... Uh, what should I say? Uh, <coughs> that if you were to deploy smoke, when you threw that, the smoke to where if it was off, it would look rigid. It would just be the outline of the smoke. Where if it was on, or yes, it would fluff out a little bit more, maybe give more cover. Ragdoll, yes or no? Personally, I say yes because when I shoot somebody, I like to see him fall down the stairs. Uh, bullet impacts, yes, and here's why. If you were to put no, and there were two different walls that you could be getting shot from, and all you see is the tasers uh, going around the walls and stuff. You wouldn't be able to really know where you're getting shot from or, or which wall for that matter. So with the, if you put, it, put bullet impacts on, whichever wall has the most bullet impacts is the wall that they're shooting from. Model detail normal, water detail low. Um, Model detail is normal because from a distance, if you were put it on low, uh, the, the character would look like crap. Uh, textures, I would put on normal or high. Sound, uh, sound quality medium because it actually makes it, gives it more of a tin, I forget what it's called, but a tin sound. So it's a higher frequency that you... Shit is breaking down on the camera